Welcome to today's video. This is the Flaming Profits YouTube channel where we teach you how to become a more profitable investor in the stock market. I wanted to give you an update on my 401k, Roth IRA, health savings account investments. There's a difference between playing offensively and defensively when it comes down to money. And I'm going to make sure that you understand the differences and how you can play on both sides to win effectively. So this is my defensive side of money. This is how I invest for the long term safe. Thanks to this strategy, I know that I will easily become a millionaire just playing defensively. Let's get into it. If this is the first time that you watch any of our videos, what in the world are you waiting for? You have been missing out. Make sure you subscribe to the Flaming Profits YouTube channel. All of our subscribers here know that a wage makes you a living, but profits make you a fortune. That is why I dedicate all these videos to improve your financial life. All right, this is my game plan that I have set up for a long time and have strictly followed it. So one of the best ways in order for you to set up yourself successfully to win financially, it is by setting up a plan and making it automatic. You do not want to be worrying or having to remember to set up an investment, a reoccurring transfer. So make sure this is an automatic prop that occurs on a monthly basis without you having to do any work. This is the only way that this will get done. So let me show you. So let's get started with my HSA. Every single month I contribute $117.30. So my employer matches a certain percentage of what I put in and the current amount that they're matching is $41.66. So every single month that I put, put in $117, they put in $41. If your employer matches any contribution, you need to make sure that you're contributing. That way you get advantage of the match. A match is basically free money that your employer gives you for contributing to a retirement account or health savings account in this scenario. So you need to be taking advantage of that because it's basically as if you were getting paid more or if you had gotten a raise. So that is my HSA. I put in $117 every month and they give me $41 of free money. Once I reach a balance of $1,000, I'll be able to invest that money and make it grow even more. So now let's talk about my second investment. By the way, the HSA is an investment that I just started this new year. So we'll see how that goes. So next is a Roth IRA. This one is a tax advantage retirement account where I put in $300 every single month on the first. And this is post tax, so all the money has been taxed already. So any earnings that I get, I'll be able to withdraw that money tax free. I'm not gonna go in detail into each of these accounts. I do have separate videos on each of these accounts. So if you're interested in them, check them out in my YouTube channel, but um, yeah, so this is my Roth IRA. I contribute $300. This is not employer sponsored or anything, so they do not put in any match. It's just my money. Next is the 401k. Fun fact most people become millionaires through a 401k. So the 401k, I'm contributing about around $272 every single month. This is equivalent to 7% of my income and then the retirement accumulation plan. This is an additional uh, 3% that my employer gives me as a match. So they give me 6%, but they also give an additional 3%. So it's 9% in total of the 6% goes into the employer match. And last but not least, I do have an Acorns brokerage account where I contribute $20 every single week. So these are all my automatic investments that I do not have to think about they automatically get invested every single month. Okay, now I'm going to show you my Fidelity account. So as you can see here, it's about $23,000 invested. Some of the money is in my Roth IRA. The other one is in my 401k, then the retirement accumulation plan. So in total, it's about $23,000 right now that I have invested. Uh, my total return right now is sitting around 33%. Oh, so actually 37% my one year return and you can see the performance benchmarks versus the S&P 500 It's only 17% so according to the statistics. I'm beating the market 
um, due to the specific investments that I chose in my Roth IRA. And I'm actually going to show you my whole Roth IRA. It's going to show you the specific investments in individual stocks as well as mutual funds that I have chosen to achieve the 37%. 37% is actually pretty high. You would normally expect about an 8 to 10% return from the stock market. But if you pick individual stocks and make good investment decisions, then you should achieve a much higher return. Okay, so I'm going to rank this from total return highest to lowest. That way you see my best performance stock all the way to my worst performing stocks. For my 401k and Roth IRA investments, I try to be somewhat conservative compared to my Robinhood brokerage investments. So as you can see, my best performing stock is TPR Tapestry. Then I have an investment in Cake Cheesecake Factory. I have a, about a 52% return on that one. And then I do have mutual funds, like I said. Uh, most of them are provided by Fidelity. It's basically a diversified way to invest in a lot of stocks that fit a general category. Then I have a Lemonade Investment, Lemonade Insurance. I actually use them. They're actually a very interesting. I have 49%, 40% in Beyond Meat, Planet 13, 40%, Vanguard S&P 500 Index Fund, VOO, 36%. Then I have a bunch of mutual funds, as you see there. Um, they all pretty much give me a, a similar return. Then I have an investment in Ulta Beauty and then more mutual funds. As you see, I try to incorporate mutual funds into my portfolio just to play it safe. But as you can see, most of my larger return investments are from individual stocks. Some of my worst performing stocks are actually some new ones that I've added to the portfolio. But it's just a matter of hanging on to them for the long term. Some of them are Google, Amazon, Facebook, Tattoo Chef, and Carnival Cruise. These are long-term investments, not planning to sell anytime soon. So with my retirement accumulation plan and the 401k, they're all the same thing. Um, they all get invested directly into the S&P 500. So these are just index fund investing. It's not any stocks that I choose. They're literally just the 500 biggest companies in the United States. I decided that would be the best instrument for my 401k and Roth IRA investments because it's kind of like an aggressive play, but it's also diversified, so I won't be exposed to much risk. If one of, if a few of those companies fail, it's not going to dramatically impact my portfolio since I'm also investing in other hundreds of stocks at the same time. Last but not least, um, I did start my health savings account. This is one of the best ways for you to pay for medical expenses and yet get tax savings while doing so, you're also able to invest the money. So anytime you have a health expense, you can just use your health savings account to pay for it. And it is money that you can invest uh, once it reaches to a thousand balance. So I'll be looking forward into that. But it's another way for you to invest and get additional money. So yeah, that is my strategy to win financially in the long term. This is my passive defensive way to win financially basically this is ensuring that you'll reach above millionaire status for sure just by simply continuing this process of investing automatically every single month if you're interested in free stocks three free stocks ten dollars with m on finance and then fifty dollars with the discover secure credit card make sure you check out the links that i have in the description and also a fifteen dollar cell phone plan that i use there is no reason for you to pay more than that per month for your cell phone service. It is literally the same thing and it is very reliable. So I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Make sure you like this video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you subscribe that way you join the Flaming Profits YouTube channel. And I hope that all of you enjoyed this video, me being transparent with my financial investment decisions. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything that I can improve upon. I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace.